Mail time. All right, we have a new package here, and I gotta get my special knife from the hands of Snivy. Um, welcome to another episode of the Pokemon Living Decks, where we're gonna go through every new Pokemon, every old Pokemon, and we're gonna complete a living decks of the Pokemon plushies. And if you can't tell, I am pretty far in on this now. Um, and we have a bunch of new additions, so we're gonna get right into this. So yeah. Just hope I don't cut any open. Okay, so we're gonna be going off. So I'm gonna be trying something new today. I'm gonna be going through showing all the plushies at once and then right as I go through that first one, I'll cut to the uh, the, the review, the review of the part of it. So that way you guys could get a whole episode going through them all instead of me just showing here, here, here. <laughs> just in like five seconds and then the video is kind of pointless. So we're gonna start off, they put them all in a big bag. I want to start off with the one that we already have a plushie of. Oh my god. <laughs> it's another bag. And then there's another bag with them all in it. Oh, these guys are small. Okay. We're going to be starting off with... Vi oh, these are vintage, by the way. I forgot. I didn't even mention that. These are vintage plushies. And we're going to be starting off with the baby. Chikorita. <laughs> Now, I have no idea where my main Chikorita is, but, dude, this is actually basically the same size. It has some hard parts on there. Um, what brand is this? I can't even... I can't even tell what brand it is. But here it is. Hard eyes. Sadly, some of the eye does have some scratch marks on there. You'll be in a home where you won't be played with, so you are okay. You won't get scratched up. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think this plush pack is saying... Oh, nope. Bandai... 1999 so this is a 19 this plush is older than me oh my god so this chikorita is a pretty old plushie adorable the leaf is adorable too you never see a leaf like this usually on chikorita plushies nowadays and it hangs off to the side instead of most plushies now i think for chikorita hangs off usually behind um hard eyes just like the older plushies used to have and they have little hard beads right here which is actually really cool i've never like thought of the beads being right there and being hard so that actually works out greatly for this plushie. Oh my gosh, adorable. Here's the back. A little skid mark right there, it looks like. Oh no, that's just dust. That's just dust connected to it for some reason. Yeah, this is, I guess this person had dogs at its home. That's what I'm hoping with. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna wanna check any further, but I'm gonna have to clean them for sure. At least get the hair off. But yeah, Chikorita is adorable and I love how it looks. So yeah, let's move on. Alright, and then next up on the list. We have, oh my god, he's so small. Oh, he's adorable. I love him. Who, who? Uh -oh. Okay, another one. This who, who, is it supposed to be like a little purse thing? I did not. Oh, okay. Here, let me, give me one second. Okay, so how this works is you're supposed to boom, boom, boom. And it turns into a Pokeball. That's actually really sweet. I, I've seen these everywhere. I just have not, like, actually gone to look for them. Um, quick change Pokeball. And it is from the 90, 1998, 2000, 2000. It is from 2000, Hasbro. That is adorable. So who, who turns into a Pokeball? Let's get them out. Let's get them back out. Oh, I, I, I think the Pokeball thing is pretty cool, but who, who is the main main attraction of this little thing? And yeah, he is adorable. Very small. I was not expecting these to be so small. I thought they were going to be a little bit bigger. But I don't I don't have a problem with it. I mean, I don't really care too much that they're smaller. These are a lot of the plushies that I like were just kind of adding to add to the collection because I saw a good deal for them, which was... Um, if you think my pricing, I actually got it for about 20 bucks with shipping included. It was actually 17 by itself. So if you think this little pack of plushies is worth it, comment down below. As well as that, comment down what favorite one you have. I would greatly appreciate that. But yeah, hoo hoo, the eyes. Definitely gonna need to be cleaned. He is adorable. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to get the things off. You never really see a hoo hoo plush with legs, especially not as chubby as these guys are. Oh my gosh, he's got some calves on him. He runs, he does track, but yeah. We have Hoo Hoo right there, and he is adorable. But let's move on to number three. Okay, these are... God, dude, these are all pretty small. Um, applause. We have 
horsey and oh my gosh look how shiny it is on the belly okay let's show you exactly how they look <laughs> This is honestly one of the coolest ones that I've seen as the group. We have ourselves a shiny, like his stomach shiny, his tail fin shiny. It's from the everyone loves to get applause line, I guess. I'm gonna have to do some, uh, some exploring on that. Let's see, 1998, 1998. So I'm guessing this one is also 98. I think there's, yeah, okay. I just wanted to check. I'll show you that in a second, though. But here he is. He's a little snoop. I was expecting a little hole, but that's actually pretty cool, too. Dude, this guy's last. He's, like I said, most of these plushies today are older than me. So, and I'm 21, so I'm pretty old. <laughs> I say that, and there's going to be somebody older than me that comments down below and be like, I am older than you, which is most likely. But shut up. <laughs> I'm pretty old for a Pokemon fan that still collects stuffed animals. <laughs> but horsey looks adorable this honestly looks like it'd be a burger king toy the eyes aren't hard on this one it's more of a fabric which i'm surprised the fabric stayed on i'm surprised this part stayed on too that's crazy but yeah it's adorable little plushie i love horsey and i've never used one on my team i need to use one on my team one day in a playthrough but yeah we have horsey added to the collection and then let's move on to a more modern i say modern as it isn't like 15 years old but let's take another look at another modern pokemon we got <laughs> And then all the way from 2007, we have the most recent plushie out of this whole collection. Happini. <laughs> Dude, this is so small. It's adorable. They're all so small. It's adorable. I still like it, though. But yeah, we have Happini next. And this little guy is from Pokemon Center from 2007, it seems like from Game Freak. Um, this is the one that I'm most curious about. They're like, it's hard to tell if it's a bootleg because a lot of them will say Pokemon Center on the bootleg tags, but it looks like it's old enough to like definitely not be a bootleg. I don't, I don't know. Bootlegs have been around for a long time. However, this, I don't know why somebody would make a bootleg Happini. <laughs> and it see, I don't see why like it wouldn't be real. It looks like just a regular Happini plush has different fabric. You would probably not see this kind of fabric done mixed with these kinds as well for a like random plushie, especially not a happy any plushie that's bootleg. So I'm I'm gonna say 100% not bootleg. So 2007 Pokemon Center, um, the most modern Pokemon we have, which is saying a lot considering this is kind of the weirdest one that we have, like scruffy wise. It looks like it's kind of dirty. It looks it reminds me of the Pokemon. I guess Sinnoh and you know what plushies whenever they were made. The way they were just made is just so different from any other ones. Gen 6 too, because Gen 6 is kind of get scruffy like this. But yeah, Happini is here and added the collection. First part of the collection as well for the Happini line. So that's pretty interesting. And then finally, probably my favorite one. The baby! <laughs> Miss Claire, no! Well, look at that. Dratini's a and then my favorite. This has to be my favorite of the collection. We have another. This one enjoys applause. 1998 Pokemon plushie of Dratini. And if you know, my favorite dragon is Dragonite. I love Dragonite. I have the Build-A-Bear over there, which honestly, I think I might have to put this little guy over there with it because this is adorable. It has beans in there, which is kind of different from, yeah, from this horsey one. So I'm guessing that this one is a little bit better made for this horsey one. And it's also got the hard eyes, unlike the horsey, which from being the same brand is kind of weird. Let me double check this. Yeah, 1998 on this tag as well. So this is like the same exact brand and the i guess they just made them different or I, that's my only thing i could think of so like maybe for different generational lines but no this dratini had to be it's basic excuse me it's the simple line as well as horsey they're both like first line parts of the evolution line so like i don't know exactly here's the bottom beanie is like a sitting cutie honestly feels just like a sitting cutie um a little bit lighter and a little bit less packed in there because right here it doesn't really have anything so you could kind of just flip it around but this oh my god this routine is adorable it's the best part of it i love it i love it so we're just one way like one line away which is dragonair from getting our uh dragonite evolution line completed which is awesome so yeah we got a whole bunch of these added i want you guys to tell me if you thought that 
this one's probably like I don't even know what to say about these ones. Which one's your favorite? I guess. Yeah, just tell me which one's your favorite. Let's actually look at all of them real quick. And here they are: Chikorita, Hoot Hoot, Dratini, Horsey, and Happy. All these guys now have a new home. A lot of vintage plushies today. That's like that's crazy. I never would have thought we'd get some vintage plushies like this, and I'm very happy to see them. Well, let's actually find a home for these guys and figure out exactly where we're going to be putting them. So for Happini, Horsey, Chikorita, and Hoot Hoot, I don't really think I have anywhere on the couch right now to put them. Maybe if I find some Johto Love or some Kanto Love, or I guess Sinnoh Love too. I guess he's part of Sinnoh. We will find a cute little home for them. But for now, they're going to be sitting over here and just chilling over here with all the other new figures actually this is my basically my new box however this little guy is going to be going in our let's say dragon corner because besides lichen rock right there it's basically a dragon corner so we have a dratini right there you probably won't see him in too many videos just because he's kind of tucked away but he is there and he will be seen by me at least right next to his mama dragonite <laughs> but i think that'll be it guys all right that's it guys like i said I think three times now please let me know down in the comments what you think is the best one out of all five of these um i really enjoy doing these plush collection videos showing off all my new grabs and today we had some vintage guys so i think that was pretty good i think that was a pretty good steal honestly and i have some more coming by the way that might be going next week um probably next week <laughs> And I have so much more stuff going for you guys. Um, I have a lot of unboxing stuff planned for this collection. The collection is going to be growing in the next few weeks. And then I'm going to have to settle it down because I am spending a lot of money on this stuff. But I enjoy it. I hope you all enjoy it. And I love you guys. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Comment like I said. I'm going to keep on saying it. And I will see you guys next week. Peace out. I forgot to do the ringing noise with the video. So we're going to go and do that now to actually end the video. And yeah. Thank you guys. Thank <laughs> you.